Uh, Dave is calling. David, um, so what's your thoughts um, on Newcastle performance today? Hey, Darren. I doing you okay? Darren, it's beyond the joke, mate. Now he, he has to go. Why hasn't he just got the, the bottle just to walk away from us? He's made an absolute hash of what he's doing. It's terrible. Do you think he would walk away, David? Well, I think he wants to walk away, but actually doesn't want to because it's going to cost four million for him to walk. I, I mean, I'm deal. watching it today. I, I, I covered it with Alex Crook, and I know you'd have watched it. He doesn't look happy. You can't be happy watching that game. You can't be looking at that game thinking, we're playing some fantastic football, because that was as bad as it comes, that today. I phoned up, and I spoke to Hugh and Danny after the Sheffield United game. And I turned around and said to both of them that he would drag us deeper and deeper. Danny and Hugh both said, Newcastle will be fine, they'll be fine. He's a terrible manager. Darren, you played in the 5-1 game at St James's Park. I did. I, I, I was also notched, but carry on. <laughs> we can't beat Sunderland. We can only beat Sunderland when Steve Bruce is manager. That's how bad he is. <laughs> <laughs> you played I, I, I was going to ask. Terrible. I was going to ask, do you think there's any way that the players have almost latched onto this narrative now that obviously Newcastle fans, almost to a man, don't want Steve Bruce anymore? Um, and, and it almost absolves the players of responsibility because ultimately they're the ones who go out on the pitch and have to perform week in, week out. They aren't doing that. But do you think, think in some ways, because you guys are blaming it all on Steve Bruce, they've almost been given a free pass, the players? See, you stick up for them there, yeah. You, all the pundits stick up for Steve Bruce. You, you're actually doing it in a roundabout sort of way there, stick up for them. No, I'm just you asking the in. question. Uh, oh, that's fair enough. I'll tell you the answer. You come in... After Rafa Benitez stood, stood his ground to Mike Ashley. So Benitez was never ever going to get another contract. Bruce has come in as another yes man. He was, he, he was at Sheffield Wednesday and he would have took them down too, if you know. That's where them's going there now. He would have took them down. Mike Ashley actually, actually paid money to get Bruce to Newcastle. He's terrible. David, who, who's out there? Who's out there that you, you would want back? Rafa Benitez, there. would you want him back? I would take Rafa in the hard base. Rafa would never come back, though. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because, like it's you said, terrible. I don't think Steve Bruce is going to walk away. It's going to cost Newcastle or Mike Ashley too much money. He don't want to lose that money. We know what we know what Mike Ashley is like. He won't be losing money for nobody. So it's very it's difficult. Really and I do feel sorry for guys and, and the fans having to, to deal and watch that dross every week. I think it's it was abysmal today, and I do feel sorry for you. When Rafa was in charge... When Rafa was in charge... We had some sort of what's the word I'm looking for? We had some sort Hope. of identity. We had identity. We it, it would the football wasn't very good. I'll tell you that now, but it did grind out results when he had to. Yeah, listen, we we, we, listen, we, 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 we know how good we know how good Rafa was um, for, for Newcastle, and listen, David, he's clearly unhappy.